what's up guys? Cannon here. This is the call to farm. We're right here in Beach Bluff between Jackson and Lexington. Highway 412 is right there in front of me. If you've traveled this route, you know exactly where I'm at, guys. This is the Calder family, one of the nicest families I've met the whole time that we've been doing this. They've called us and they have asked that we build a four rail fence on this side of the drive, on that side of the drive. It's gonna define their property like a picture frame. We've already stained the material. So as we put these posts in, you're gonna see they're already a walnut color. As we put the rails on, you're gonna see they're already a walnut color. There's several benefits to us doing this. Number one, we get to stain the entire post. So even the part that's down in the ground, it's been stained and sealed to further protect it against rot. You can't do that if you stain it after the fact. Two, there's absolutely no risk of us over spraying our chemical when we put the stain on because it's already been applied. That mist can drift and it can get on the pond, on the statues, on vehicles, on, on houses and cars. We don't have to worry about that we're able to stain and seal every inch of that post, even where the rails are gonna meet. If we did this after the fact where the rails go on, we wouldn't be able to seal it. It would be covered up. So tons of benefits to us doing this. We did it in a controlled environment. Now, I ain't never done like a documentary type thing, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So let's go down here and capture what they're doing here. Hey, you get the tape? There you go. Hey, you know what the dumb man's smart in? The dumb end, smart end. He's got the dumb end, you get the smart end, you know what I'm saying? Estamos haciendo un pozo, le estamos ayudando al gordo para poner el poste. Que okay, andale, amigo. <laughs> you say something. I'm. You say something. Something. I'm good. I'm good. Freaking gas line all the way up in here. Nobody cares about the fence, man. It's uh, hey man, roots, trees, gas lines. Good luck, bro. Good yep. luck. Oh, that's y'all's line? Yeah. I, I thought that was our flag. 811 comes and lays the fence out for you, don't they? That's kind of what they do. Have you seen the other side? Uh-uh. Dude, Is it's it? like white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, the whole way down. You can't make that stuff up, man. White, by the way, is what we mark. That's called excavating. It's called the white paint law. So we mark white anywhere we're gonna dig. They mark yellow anywhere there's gas. And it's like always the same. Mm. Sickening. Now they're like, man, if we put it out here, they never will build a fence on top of it. Let's put it over here where they might. <laughs> now it goes. Hey, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get my yard uh, irrigated. You mind coming out here and looking at that? Oh, you're gonna run a line right down the property line, right where we're gonna put our fence. That's a great idea. Let's yeah. do that. We're gonna build a fence after y'all get done. At the end of the day, man, we're just out here trying to do a job. The gas company's doing a job. Like, it just so happens that the two jobs kind of conflict. You know, it ain't no different than going to a restaurant. You got this washer trying to keep the dishes clean. You got a server uh, constantly just keeping them dirty. You know what I mean? Yeah. They both got a job to do. They just conflict. We're trying to build a fence. They're trying to have gas. I mean, it's just nobody did it on purpose. Mike, man, I gave him the nickname uh, Sam. Special assignment, Mike. So anytime we got to dig by a gas line, dangerously close, that's a job for Sam. You know, so Sam is just out here in his natural habitat doing Sam type stuff. You hear that? Nothing. If he had to hit that gas line, one, you might have felt something. Two, we would have heard a But we're good. We need to make sure up there with the blue coming out, we got to be two foot off where they located. Two foot off when we hit it, it's on them. Two foot in and we hit it, it's on us. See what I'm saying? I'm thinking we measure it, we take some pictures. You know, 811 wouldn't know what to think if we hit their line. They're like, well, do you have photographs? I'm like, bro, I got a video team out here. Like. We were mic'd up and everything and hit your line. <laughs> it's edited with sound effects and everything, bro. Yes, we have video cameras. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice of you to join us. I had to make more coffee. Or you just show up whenever you want to? Yes. The poster in, we was able to get them dipped down in that tank. We're still waiting on the rails. And uh, tell me what you think about this. I think rather than bringing the rails here and staining them and stacking them back up, what if we just trailer them and we take our stain and go and we just push it through, pull it out and go straight to the fence with it? Have you seen that machine? I've seen it. I've seen videos on it, but not used one. Well, I've not used it either, but we got one sitting out there. All, literally, all we had to do is put it together. I'm just picturing like all the lumber still on the back of a trailer, like normal. And that machine is not heavy at all, you know? And in fact, we could put it on a pallet on that skid loader and just move it along. But I don't know if you even have to do that. Uh, and it's just a gravity fed machine. You put that bucket in, pull the board off, push it out, nail it to the fence. I don't know, man. I mean, what do you think? George, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think, George? I think he's I think he's questioning like if he should ever bark or not. I've only ever heard him bark once. He uh he got a, I guess there was a dragonfly down in the grass and he ran up on it. And he barked at that dragonfly. And that's the only only time I've ever heard him bark. And I was thinking like, man, I believe that's the first time he's heard himself bark, because he kept doing a hoo, 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 hoo. I was like, <laughs> he never figured out a new trick. He didn't know he could do that. And he just started doing it. Walnuts of color is a semi-transparent. So I had to learn that if you're gonna do a pre-stained fence, you don't want to do semi-solid. I said it's got too many pigments in it. And so what that means is the pigments in the process of dumping it, pulling it out, it just wants to come off, you know. Um, and we saw a little bit of that yesterday. A uh, chart here, that's sable and that's walnut. I was thinking in my head, Sable would be the darker of the two, but really, man, walnut looks like it's the darker of the two. But man, it's a blessing that we chose that because when I saw that post go in next to his driveway post, I'm like, wow, it's like it's like it's meant to be. We had all these bronze statues around there. Look, it's fire, absolutely fire, man. I gotta go out here and help Keith build a gate this morning, but I want you to think about all the people yesterday that went to work in Jackson and then came back home and all those posts they saw. And we did it again today. We actually parked the truck strategically so like as you come over that hill, it's just boom right there. It was actually really nice. All right, we're just out here now on the other side of the tree line. Um, I have a turn back that's 16 feet back there. I've already got it marked. I put the string line up from end to end and we've been marking every eight feet. I had to get the gate facing right down there because he's got a 24 foot uh, farm gate that he wants to put in. So it uh, takes a little thinking to do that, but I think I got it figured out now. <laughs>